I love this church because I was, you know, I have been here uh, quite a while, since about 11 years old. Um, and it's always been a unique um, place of worship for me. Um, not so much religious, but it has molded my relationship with Christ without all of the rules. Um, so it has pulled me to be at a greater relationship with Christ and not just religion and rules. What I feel I got blessed from this church is, as men, he considers us iron men. We're out there in the, the world, and I can feel when I come to church, it's a sanctuary for me. The name of our campaign is The Forward Legacy. And what we want to do, because we've been, you know, being able to rent places and lease places, but we want to be able to get some roots in there to leave the legacy to our children and our children's children. We don't want to be moving around. We want to build something that we can le leave to our children. The Bible says a wise man leaves something for his children and his children's children. And that's what our vision is. God has been good to Harvest of Harmony. We're on the crest of things that God had purpose and planned over the years. 25 years ago, when we started this ministry, we started in a hotel with just four families. Then we transitioned to a grocery store, 27,000 square feet, where God blessed us. We grew tremendously there. And God is doing some incredible things right now. Our mission statement is winning souls, changing lives, and helping people. And many of you can witness and testify that that's been our agenda, is to win souls, to change lives, and to help people. He's been doing it then, and he's doing it now. And we have to seize the moment and the opportunity to take advantage of everything that God has purposed for Harvest of Harmony. Our future is amazing. God has been revealing to us and showing us the plan that he has for us to own our own facility, to create a forward legacy for our children. This is the season that we must seize and we must possess. The time is now. I'm excited, Harvest of Harmony, and I want you to know the scripture, Jeremiah 29 and 11, where the Lord says, for I know the plans that I have for you, plans to do you good and not evil to give you a hope and a future and an expected end. I don't know about you, I am in expectation for all the great things that God has for us here at Harvest of Harmony. Let's get a picture of what God is doing for us right now.
why wait? To me, I feel that um, it's something that needs to be not done now because um, God's people need a place of worship. And um, what is a better time than now? Why would, why would we need to wait? Let's go for what God has called us to go for. We need a place that we can call home, that we can build some roots in, where we can have our children and their children come to and be in a community where we can really make a difference. Just taking care of God's house, you know, He'll take care of yours. And I can honestly, you know, attest to that being true. And I would encourage anyone, um, if you have children, even if you don't have children, to just get involved because Again, you, you take care of God's house, He'll take care of yours. Wasn't that exciting? You have heard testimonies. You have witnessed the vision and individuals who believe in what God is doing here at Harvest of Harmony. I'm gonna ask you to do three things. The first thing I'm gonna ask you to do is to pray. Harvest of Harmony, we're not just a church that prays, but we are a praying church. I want you to pray, number one, for our leadership that we would make right decisions throughout this, that we will not miss what God has purposed and planned for us. And the second thing I wanna ask you to do is to get still after you pray. God answers when you get still. And then the third thing I wanna ask you to do is that I want you to pray about what God is asking you to do and how can you help. See, collectively together, we can accomplish this. We can get it done what God has purposed for us. We can move our ministry forward. We can possess the land. And I want you to pray about your part, your role in how you can help this vision come to pass and how you can be a consistent person who is involved in the Forward Legacy Project. This is our time. This is our season. Let's take advantage of it. got value from this content and you want more just like and subscribe and we'll make sure we keep those videos coming to you remember dream it do it and i'll see you in the next video